Hi everybody, it's Fatih again and welcome to my fifth uh, chapter in Modern Systems Analysis and Design lesson. In this chapter we will learn initiate, initiating and planning systems development projects. And let's start. Our learning objectives are describe the steps involved in the project initiation and planning process, explain the need for and the content of a project scope statement and baseline project plan, list and describe var various uh, method methods and for assessing project feasibility, describe the differences between tangible and intangible benefits and costs, and between one-time versus recurring benefits and costs. Perform, perform, perform cost-benefit analysis and describe what is meant by the time value of money, present value, discount rate, net represent value, return on investment and break-even analysis. Describe the general rules for evaluating technical risks and associated with a system development project. Describe the activities and participant, participant roles within a structured workflow. Now let's start uh, the initiating and planning st systems development project. What must be considered when making the decision on the division between project initiation and planning and analysis? How much effort should be expended on the PIP process? Who is responsible for the performing the PIP process? Why is PIP such a <coughs> challenging activity? Here's a fear. Project initiation focuses on activities designed to assist in organizing a team to conduct project planning, establishing the project initiation team, establishing a relationship with the customer, establishing the project initiation plan, managing management producers, the project, project management uh, environment and project workbook, developing the project charter. The key activity of project initiation is the development of the project charter as you can see here okay a product charter typically contains project title and date of authorita authorization project manager name and contact information customer name and contact information project projected start and complete completion dates key stakeholders project role and responsibilities project objectives and description key assumptions or approach signature section for key stakeholders the key activity of project planning is the process of defining clear, discrete activities and the work needed to complete each activity within a single project. The objective of the project planning process is the development of a baseline project plan and the project scope statement. Elements of project planning Describe project scope, alternatives, feasibility, divide project into tasks, estimate resource requirements and create resource plan, Develop preliminary schedule. Develop communication plan. Determine sta standards and pro procedures. Identify and assess risk. Create preliminary budget. Develop a statement of work. Set baseline project plan. No business case. Uh, it's really it's, uh, necessary information. It's justification for an information system presented in terms of the tangible and intangible economic benefits and costs the technical and organizational feasibility of the proposed system. Now, uh, the important part is baseline project plan. A major outcome and derivable from the PIP phase contains the best estimate of a project scope, benefits, costs, risks, and resource requirements. Project scope sca statement. A document prepared for the customer describes what the project will deliver, outline at a high level of all work required to complete the project. Assessing project feasibility, economic, technical, operational, scheduling, legal and contractual, political. Economic feasibility. A process of identifying the financial benefits and costs associated with a development project. Tangible benefits refer to items that can be measured in dollars and with certainty. Examples include reduced personal expenses, lower transaction costs, or higher, higher profit mar margins. Most tangible benefits will fit within the following categories. These categories are cost redu reduction and avoidance, error reduction, increased flexibility, increased speed of activity, 
improvement of management planning and control, opening new markets and increasing sales opportunities. Intangible benefits are benefits <coughs> derived from the creation of an information system that cannot be easily measured in dollars with certainty. Okay. Tangible costs. A cost associated with an information system can be measured in dollars with certainty. IS development tangible costs include hardware costs, labor costs, or operational costs, including employee training and building uh, renovations. Intangible costs. A cost associated with an information system cannot be easily me measured in terms of dollars or with certainty. Intangible costs can include loss of customer goodwill, employee morale, or operational inefficiency. One-time costs. A cost as associated with project startup and development or system startup. These costs encompass activities such as system development, new hardware and surface purchases, user training, site preparation, and data or system conversion. Recovering cost. A cost resulting from the ongoing evolution and use of systems. Here are examples. Okay. Both one-time and recurring costs can consist of items that are fixed or variable in nature. Fixed costs are built or incurred at a regular interval and usually at a fixed rate. Variable costs are items that vary in relation to usage. Procurement. Consulting, equipment, site preparation, capital management time. Startup. Operation systems, communications installation, personal hiring, organizational disruption, and that's all. Project related. Application software, software modification, personal overhead, training, data analysis, documentation. Operating. System maintenance, rental, assessed depre depreciation, operating and planning. The time value of money. Net present value. Use discount rate to determine present value of cash outlays and receipts. Return on investment. Ratio of cash receipts of the cash outlays. outlays. Break even analysis. Uh, the most important part, I think. Amount of time required for a cumulative cash flow to equal initial and ongoing investment. Time value of money. The concept that money available today is worth more than the same amount tomorrow. Discount rate. The rate of return used to compute the represent value of future cash flows. Present value. The current value of a future cash flow. Here is a net present value. It's a formula. Okay. Calculates time value of money. If you can see. And here is break even analysis formula. Okay. Technical feasibility. A process of assessing the developer development organization's ability to construct a proposed system. The potential consequences of not assessing and managing risks can include the following failure to attain expected uh, benefits from the project, in inaccurate project cost estimates, inaccurate project duration estimates, failure to achieve adequate system performance levels, and failure to adequately integrate the new system with existing hardware, software, and organizational processes. Project risk factors. Uh, here you can see project size, uh, project structure, development group, user group, yes, uh, and terms. Risk can be managed on a project by changing the project plan to avoid risky factors, assigning project team members to carefully manage the risky aspects, setting up setting up monitoring methods to determine whether or not potential risk is in fact materializing. The four primary factors associated with the amount of technical risk on a given project are uh, project size, project structure, development groups experience with the application and technology area, and the users groups experience with systems development projects and the application area. For general, four general rules emerged as techni technical risk assessments. A la larger projects are riskier than smaller projects. A system in which the requirements are easily obtained and highly structured will be less risky than on which requirements are messy, ill-structured, ill-defined or subject to judgment of an individual. 
The development of a system employing commonly used or standard technology will be less risky than one employing, employing novel or non-standard technology. A project is less risky than less risky when the user group is familiar with the familiar with the system's development process and application area than if unfamiliar. Now here's a figure you can see. Assessing other feasibility concerns operational uh, does you can uh, ask these questions to these uh, different terms, okay? Operational, scheduling, legal and contractual political. Based on project plan is a document intended primarily to guide the development team, okay? Sections Introduction, System Description, Feasibility Assessment, Managed Issues. Now sections Problem statement, project of project of objectives, project description, business benefits, deliverables, aspect durations. Factors in determining scope. Organizational units affected by new system, current systems that will interact with or change because of new system, people who are affected by new system, range of potential system capabilities. System description sec uh, system description section outlines possible alternative solutions. Feasibility assessment section outlines issues related to project costs and benefits, technical difficulties and other such concerns. Management issues section outlines a number of managerial concerns related to the project. Reviewing the baseline project plan. Structured walkthroughs. A peer group review of any product created during the system development process. Roles coordinator, presenter, user, secretary, standard, barrier, maintenance oracle can be applied to BPP, system specifications, logical and physical designs, program code, test producers, manuals and documentation. Uh, now we finished, uh, we complete our objectives and we learned lots of things. I hope uh, you listen carefully and you learn necessary information. If you have still questions, you can send us emails and I will try to back to you. Thanks for watching and listening to me. Uh, I hope we will see each other on the next tutorial. See you later. Have a nice day.